So poking it through, and uh, Mickey's had a tremendous season. Well, what a match it was at the MCG. Magnificent game uh, between Footscray and Essen, and that was Harvey on Grant, very hard. Uh, Wallace has been reported for allegedly tripping Crediok in the opening quarter, and uh, his case comes up. There was Campbell off the game. There was Buick, a little fortuitous, but uh, he went for it and scored the goal, and Essen and got that early break. Uh, Kolinuk, within a minute, scored a similar one at the other end to get the goal for Footscray, to keep them uh, well and truly in it. Some uh, hard stuff, that was uh, Ridley with Colin, you go over the top, here's Baxter, long going into him very hard, Buick and Bashuta McPherson, uh, hip and shoulder there by Wallace. Now here's Hills, he's an exciting young player, Liberatore coming in, O'Donnell. Now, great mark to kick it, but he makes a blue and Royal scores a terrific goal under enormous pressure early and then weaves a bit of a path for himself and goes bang from 40 metres out for a goal and he's had a very good season, Brian Royal. Hills exciting as I said, back to um, Plain. Plain has played very little football this season, able to snap a goal, that's what he's very best at. Well Terry Wheeler really let the doggy boys know, he was barking you could say at three quarter time. They've had a terrific run, they've had a lot of hard matches, their draw looks a little softer in the next couple of weeks and they may be relieved by that. Uh, long to Buick, Buick's at his absolute top and he runs in a straight line and goes bang as he did there. And, uh, well, he's uh, a most effective player. Constructive player for the Essendon team. But uh, when it started to rain at the start of the game, I thought that Essendon had a real chance. I thought at ground level they'd be a better side than Footscray. Then the sun came out and I thought that perhaps Footscray might take over with their taller forwards. But Essendon's back line really was sensational. They had Flood on Delray, Harvey on Grant, Wanganine on Royal and Ridley on Ballantyne. Ballantyne went off the ground uh, just before quarter time. He didn't come back onto the ground until just before, before three quarter time when Campbell went to the forward line. And uh, he looked all right in the last quarter, but I think it was because uh, Essen perhaps lapsed, lapsed in their uh, pressure upfield and the ball was able to be delivered to him a little bit better at that stage of the game. But she's one thing I did notice yesterday is that Essendon kept turning back into the corridor all the time. They were intent on playing the corridor. Has that been a new part of the a team plan? Oh, not not really. I think that um, I think what happens when you you're playing with more confidence and uh, your players are getting a little bit more experience with playing together with each other, they tend to start knowing where they run and, and how they play. And I think that's probably not an over over intention of it, but I mean, you know, left footers bring the ball into a corridor if they're on the left footing side of the game, if they're a right foot and they're coming on the other ground. So I think it's just the way it pans out sometimes. You, you must have been really happy with the way the players attacked the ball. They, they were really desperate. They ran hard at the ball for the whole game. I was really pleased with that. We, we felt that um, that's an area where we are improving. And uh, to me, you know, it's an area where we New have... player uh, from, uh, fresh from his triumphs. I think he made the All-Australian side in the Teal Cup.